welcome back to my channel. Today with Train with Tink, we are moving on with her training progress. So if you watched last week, you saw her ride with a rider on her and riding totally unassisted. No one having her led at all. So I would now consider her broke, but now she is still green broke. So whenever someone says a green broke horse, that's what it means. As in, it has been written without someone lead lining it <laughs> at least one time. Um, so now she has been ridden a few times now. I think she's on four times now that she's been ridden by that same rider um, and they're doing great. They've done in the round pen as well as inside the arena. They have not went outside yet, um, but I don't really feel like that she's ready for that, nor is the rider ready for that. Plus it's not my child. Um, so I probably will just leave him in the arena for now until my kid probably gets a little bit older. And at, that, at this point, I don't need her to do more than that, but I do want her to be ready with it. So now after I have went on the riding portion, I'm now going to start her on driving. Um, now, an O2 is, old, is young to start on driving, um, but I am just gonna go ahead and give her the foundation of all of it while I'm training her. And then I'll probably just do a retraining session, a little small one, you know, in a year's time. Um, so do notice the harness doesn't exactly fit her, nor... Perfectly, and neither does the cart 100% perfectly just like a girth wouldn't necessarily fit either um, So I probably will have to replace that cart sell it and buy new, another one because I do think she's gonna get too tall and too big for that But since she's only two she will grow until she's five or six years old So I am gonna wait to replace that till I know a little bit more on how tall and wide she is going to be um, So it is gonna be great for me to be able to get her used to it um, As well as actually even start driving with it, but again very very careful in a very like contained safe space um so definitely be careful if i was going to recommend i would say wait till your horse is like five or six before you start training them i am just like one who likes to get ahead of the game and that's just how i do so that's why i'm going to start her on this anyway plus that gets her even better to the rain pressure for my kid to ride her again this will be just for us we're not reselling her um she is going to stay hopefully with us forever um, so yeah, so what we're gonna do now is now she's got her harness on um, and again, we have been doing this for a little while now, um, but she got her harness on and now we're gonna do ground driving with the harness on. Um, now, when you first put the breeching on your horse, I would definitely recommend uh, you doing a little bit of lunging. So what I mean by that is in case the horse wanted to buck or something or kick out, at that breaching, you don't want to be standing there. So your first step when you first put them on a harness is to do a little bit of lunging. And especially at the trot, um, be careful that none of your lines or anything like that is going to get in her way or get tangled up. Um, since she's had it done a while, I'm not really worried about it that as much. But see her line or the traces there is a little bit loose. Um, and I would make that not loose whenever you get them used the first time. So I'm also going to trot. Trot. See, she still gets a little, a little crazed out a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. But it, even with me, as you see there, I didn't have the reins really great up. So the reins are actually dragging. So you definitely want to be careful with that. They do have a loop here. You should always put that in there, but just be careful. Um, but honestly, when things like that go wrong, it's a great chance for them to get used to stuff going wrong. Um, but yeah, so that's your first step. Lunge them with it, maybe not with the reins and the bridle. Um, your second step would be to ground drive without going through these loops. I did do that already and she was great, but I would do that first in case you get into a wreck because it's a lot easier to deal with issues when you're doing that. Now for most things, I would say do a round pin first, but with driving, the easiest things are going straight not the turns so i would definitely recommend doing it in maybe a big field a big pasture so if the horse did get loose they wouldn't get out in the road um so if you don't have an arena you know do a fence and pasture or something um but something like that where you can just go straight for a long time because when you first start go straight for as long as you can and then do your turns because those are kind of hard um also help your horse when you're turning to get used to having a cart behind them so maybe turn them, but don't turn them really sharply. Think about like you're pulling a trailer, you need a little bit more space to make every turn, especially with the cart, because I gotta get used to that. Um, also make sure you're yielding for, 
beforehand is really, really good because you'll need that with a cart. And it's not really, really great with her, but see, she overreacts there. Uh, and the reason why she overreacts is she is blind in one eye, so that's where we have to really work on that. So that is something she really has to work on. I'm not really, not really sure 100% if she's blind in one eye, but it looks like it because it's cloudy and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get at it and let's go ahead and do some ground driving with her. So again, the first thing I'm gonna do is tie up my, any loose things like my lead rope or something like that. I don't really need to too much because she is pretty good at this, um, but just be very careful of that. I will ask her to stand still because it's really important. Okay, so now I'm gonna say, okay, walk on, walk on. And see, she's already a little bit too reactive, but they're when they're young like this, even if they did great yesterday, they may not do great today. So they're doing the same thing we did under saddle and now under harness. Still. Hit like and subscribe so you never miss an episode because I'm getting really close to 100 subscribers. So I'm so, so excited. So thank you everyone who subscribed to me. So good, God bless, be adventurous, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.